Hello, today we're learning how to draw a cute jellyfish. All you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. A pen, a pencil, a marker, anything you've got will work. Let's start by making a big blob shape toward the top of our paper. This will be the body of the jellyfish. Next, we'll add two big round circles for her eyes. Next, we'll make a ruffly sort of shape along the bottom edge of the jellyfish's body. Looking good! Let's start adding some tentacles. Starting at the bottom of the jellyfish, make a curved line, kind of like a long, thin S, and curl it around at the bottom. Right beside that line, you're going to make another line and follow the same curves as the first one. Make sure the end of this line curves all the way around and meets up with the end of the first line. That'll complete the tentacle. Okay, let's try it again. So we'll make one long curvy line with a little curl at the end. And then right beside that one, another curvy line following the same shape as the first and curl it all the way around at the end. We'll keep repeating this process until our jellyfish has seven or eight long thin tentacles. I like to keep my tentacles longer in the middle of the jellyfish and shorter toward the edges. These tentacles definitely do not have to be perfect. Jellyfish come in all different shapes and sizes, so make your tentacles however you like them. In order to fit seven or eight tentacles onto our jellyfish, some of them will have to overlap other tentacles that we've already drawn. To do this, make the same shape that you've been making all along, but make sure to stop and leave a gap where the front tentacle overlaps the back tentacle. That'll make it look like some of our tentacles are overlapping and layering behind others. As you're drawing, make sure you leave some space in the center of your tentacles. We're gonna add a second type of tentacle in just a minute. I think these tentacles look fantastic. Now we're gonna add the second type of tentacle. Start by making another long curvy line in the center of the existing tentacles. Then we're gonna go around the outsides of that line and create a scalloped edge, which just means a bunch of bumps that are all connected. Make your scalloped line all the way down one side of the smooth line and then down the other side and connect them both at the bottom. We'll repeat this process a few times to give our little jellyfish a few of these frilly kind of tentacles. Just like with the first tentacles we drew, don't forget to leave a gap whenever you come to an existing tentacle. This will give the look that the tentacle you're drawing is behind the existing tentacles. Perfect, she looks like she's got lots of tentacles to help her get around. Now let's go back up to the eyes and add some details. We'll make one larger circle and one smaller circle inside of each of the existing eye circles. We're gonna use these to create the look of shine on her eyes. Add the same larger circle and smaller circle in both eyes. You can fill in her eyes with black just as they are, or if you wanna add a little extra color, you can create two curved lines at the bottom of her eyes. Between those curved lines and the bottom of the eye circles, we're going to add a few little lines for detail. Again, this part is optional, but it gives us a place to put some extra color and I think it adds a lot of character. To finish off our jellyfish's eyes, we're gonna put two little lines at the outside of each of the eye circles, kind of like tiny jellyfish eyelashes. Then add a small curved line between the eyes for the mouth. Now you can go ahead and fill in the rest of the eye circles with your marker or pencil or whatever you're working with. Just don't forget to leave the little shine circles white. And if you added the lines at the bottom, leave those uncolored as well. I'm gonna add one more small detail and put some circles around the frill at the bottom of the jellyfish's body. You might want to add other details like polka dots or stripes or squiggles around your jellyfish, and that's great. Customize her and make her your own. I'm adding two little lines over top of the eyes to give our jellyfish a friendly expression. And 
there she is. She's all done. I think I'm going to name her Janice. Janice the jellyfish. What are you going to name yours? Let me know in the comments down below. If you had fun drawing this cute jellyfish, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and tap or click on the video on your screen for the next one. See you there.